Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today I want to talk about Pinterest and what it's doing and the new Pinterest thing. I know it's been a wee minute since we've talked. I only like to really make videos when I have something interesting to tell you and I am so excited about what is going on with Pinterest, what they want us to do, what they have said that their um, main goal for pinning is because it totally matches what I want to do. <laughs> so anyways, I want to start with just an overview of what Pinterest has said that they want us to do. And then also what, um, how that looks in the real world, how that looks on my stats and what's going on. So number one, they've said that they want lots of pins. They want new pins. And by that, they mean pins that haven't been in their system already. That could mean a different text overlay. It could mean a changing the orientation of a picture. It could mean adding another picture of your pin, making a collage. So there's a million ways that you can make different pins. What they're not saying is they want new content. Now, granted, they want new content, right? But they're saying that we can make a number of different pins for the same content. And we can do that for brand new content, if we're Etsy sellers, new products, if we're bloggers, new blog posts. But we can also go back and make new pins based on the content and the products that we already have. Woohoo! Um, so I want to show you what's going on with my little site. So I've had 40,000 page views. The page views are up, my sessions are up, my bounce rate is down. That's because of Slickstream, this new little gizmo I have. I love it. Um, and, and so everything is going well there. And I also wanted to show you the um, information about tribes and smart loops. So this is just Pinterest. This is what's happening with my Pinterest. And you can see... I learned about this new information right about here. I started making pins and now my Pinterest traffic is going up. And this is for my small website. Um, my sessions are up 26%. My new users are up 22%. Easy for me to say. Um, if you use Tailwind, my tribes are up. My smart loops are up. And I want to talk about what is working, right? So... I am making new pins. I'm making at least five to seven new pins for new content or old content, right? And then I am scheduling them through the Pinterest interface. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and make some new pins for um, uh, old blog posts because I have an old blog post that I wanna make pins for. So getting some of my work done. And I'm going to show you how I make them in Canva and then also how I um, upload them to Pinterest so you can see exactly what I do. All right, so first off, Canva's awesome because it gives you um, the ability to have all kinds of saved pins that you can just plop stuff in, right? And I got a whole bunch of free pins, pr free pin designs from uh, Canva from uh, Tailwind. They had gone together, and these are free for everybody. You don't have to be a member of Tailwind to get these pins. Um, but they have all kinds of um, different pins, and I'll show you how to do it. My husband's out of town. Okay. Your Pinterest Pins Toolkit is ready. Sorry, I'm having all kinds of trouble. Oh, here we go. I already put it in. That's why my thing remembered. Okay, so they have monthly templates. They're going to be sending out new templates all the time. Um, this is the January templates. This is the December templates. Let's see if we like these. And I used to have them downloaded, but I keep overwriting them. Okay, so that's... This one, that, oh, I like the font in that one. Okay, we're going to use this to make my pins for today. And see how it comes in just perfect? And we're going to make iPhone photog uh, product photography. Pins for my post about iPhone product photography.
everything is slow. I have a thousand temp I have a thousand things open. Okay, so product photography. Let's do this. There we go. So I am not going to make a new picture for this blog post. I am going to make new pins to pin on Pinterest. Okay. So this is, I need to have the words that I'm going to put on there. So how to take super amazing product photography with your iPhone. And then I'm going to come back over here. And I have already downloaded some pictures I want to use to my hard drive, so I need to upload those. See, I have all kinds of iPhone things. So ladies using their iPhones to, do, to take pictures. Okay, perfect. And you'll see they're similar pictures, but they're not the same. And for Pinterest, they think that uh see like how this is just a are you done this is just a different angle like this is the lady from the side this is the lady from the back this is the lady from the far away this is the lady closer up so all of those pinterest would consider a different pin sorry i have a little frog okay so we're gonna do this do we have do we have there we go. iPhone product photography. So what I'm going to do is I will include a link to this, how to get into here for all these free templates, which are amazing. Um, but Canva opens up a thousand tabs. So let's do this this way so that we're not confused. So first off, I want to get a picture before I do anything in all of these. And how many do we have? Oh my gosh, we got a billion. We have 10. <coughs> oh my gosh, we have 15. I'm not going to make 15 pins. It's okay. I'm going to pick the ones that I like the best with my picture. So I'm going to pull this picture over and it'll just plop right in here in theory. All right. Do See how if you wiggle it, it, there you go. That's what I want. Oh, I love how that is, right? And I'm not trying to uh, to convince everybody to sell sneakers, so I just want a little bit of those sneakers there, but I want to see the happy, smiling lady taking a picture with her iPhone, and we're going to probably move that over when we're done. We got a cool word, and we got a stripey thing. Good. Awesome. First one, halfway done. Now we have this. I don't like these circles. I don't know why they're there, but that's okay. Um, now I want one. Let's try... If you just click on it, it pulls it in. If you um, pull it over, you can wiggle it around to be right in that um, picture. See, we want to wiggle it. There we go. Yep. Okay, perfect. Oh, I like how this came in. Okay, so you can see she's taking a picture of something. We're going to need lighter words, but we got all kinds of words over here that we can use. And I like this font very much. So we're going to put that up there so we can remember it's there. Okay, so that's two pictures. Let's see. I like that extra. This is what's called a call out. This, darn it. This, uh, like, little extra bit here. So let's do this one. I know, I know it is pictures of, um, it's actually pictures of food, but nobody really looks at your pictures. I don't like that at all. I don't like how that looks at all. Um, that's fine. I got lots of pictures to use. Where'd the rest of my pictures come? Let's see. I thought I had a few more than that. Let's look. What's this? Yep. This one didn't come in. There we go. Okay. Perfect. I think, oh, I like this one much better. Okay. So we have this going on and I'm going to pull this. Like, I want lots of room for my words. So I'm going to pull this right up into the top. 
Let's see, that's number three. Oh, here's one that's little. So do we have a little picture? Uh, let's see if we got any more pictures. What about that one I didn't like before? I bet you that will fit in here. Oh, see, that's much better in here. Perfect. It's kind of weird tippy. I still don't like it. Darn it. I want to like it, but I don't like it. All right, do we have any other ones? Oh, this one. And there's one more I didn't see there. This one. Maybe I have it. Okay. Oh, that's a good one for them, maybe. I want, so the thing that I'm looking for here is twofold. I want a good picture that is going to grab their attention, but I also want um, them to read my words. I want to get them to get the idea that they're taking product photography pictures, but I also want them to um, read the words so they know what they're coming to look at. Let's see how this guy looks. Those tennies are kind of cute. They love taking pictures of tennies. Okay, this is going to work out great because we're going to do something different with this. Okay. You're going to like this. And this comes just from the fact that I've done so many pins and I've tested so many things that I know that there's a special thing I can do with that. This one is fine. We've got her taking pictures. Nope, I don't like that. All right. I am spending too much time trying to mess around with that one picture. So I have one, two, three, four. I need one more. I'm going to do five with us. Um, I just do not have time to mess around. I'm just trying things out to see what works. Because now Pinterest wants us to make a billion pictures and then we test and see what works. So I'm going to leave these other guys down here. I might want to use them for something else and I'll show you a trick in a minute. All right, so now we have to use our words. We want to do um, awesome. Awesome product photography okay so we have the words awesome product photography all on one line perfect Okay, so we got our awesome product photography. Is there a little word there? Nope. And then I'm going to have this say with an iPhone. Okay, cool. And I know what you're thinking right now. You can't really see that, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to move this because we don't really need, I'd like to be able to see that lady's hands, you know, to show that she's doing that. So let's make this even bigger. Let's see if we can get it down below our words. Oh, there we go. Look, iPhone is sitting right on her iPhone. That's amazing. Or could we do this? Oh, that's it. I have to leave a little room at the bottom to put my website. That's what we're going to do right there. Awesome product photography with an iPhone. So now I need to put something behind it so that we can see it better, right? That's not, that's not very good. So we go to elements. We make a little square box. I use these boxes all the time. So first off, we're going to make this white. We're going to send it to back. Backwards, backwards, okay, there we go. Okay, awesome product photography, and then we're going to make it, um, are my words all right? Awesome product photography, and then I want to do the same thing, but I want it to be cuter on the bottom because that's a little bit more whimsical, 
So we're going to do this, and we're going to twist it a little bit. And we'll pull it out. And we'll pull it out. Maybe fold it out too much. We're going to push it in. <laughs> we're going to send it to back. And we're going to make it. What happens if we do just white? Do you like that? Well, it sticks out. So if our goal is to get them to read it and to catch that there's something exciting happening, that'll work. And then I just need a text and a little subheading. And I need to say www.artcfartclife.com. And we're going to make it. 28, and we're going to pull it out, and we're just going to scooch it down to the middle. Okay, what do we think? We'll leave it there, and then I'm going to do all the words, and I'll be back in just one second. I don't want you to have to futz around with me with all the words. Okay, so I got most of it done, but I wanted to leave a little bit of it to mess around with you so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, so I copied that little box and put it down here and did how to do iPhone product photography and then I put this darker box behind it if you um like if we were to just get rid of this box entirely there's really not enough contrast between the back for the words to be read but when you just put that little box in there and you could move that box up or down right like I have it behind all of that but what I find when I do that is um it's a little choppy. It's a little bit um, like it's not like the whole design is together, but when you put it up in the middle of that box, then it does a really good job. And so that design took two seconds. iPhone product photography. I always try to make sure that I check my spelling. Okay, now this one I left a lot to do because um, first off, I want to adjust it. I need it to be brighter because it's not bright enough right it's too dark and I need it saturated it's not very it's not an, a very exciting picture but now I'm starting to see a little bit more life in it right I need to have a little bit like the only thing I have on Pinterest is somebody noticing a picture and if it's just a washed out mess nobody's gonna do it but we have some things here that we can help with that okay so I don't like this orange with it. So we're going to get a really pretty pink to go with my picture. Now you could do a, um, a opposite color, right? Like I could do chartreuse or green and it would pop off there. Let's see what that does. Take amazing pics with your iPhone. Oh, that kind of helps. And that kind of balances this dark. There's something there that I didn't intend to have. Um, that kind of balances this dark thing. I used a more classic font in this. This is just kind of a um, Times New Roman font. And the reason that I'm okay with that is because we want all different fonts. We want to use all different fonts. So Pinterest knows that we're using, you know, this isn't the same picture over and over again, number one, but also for people because some people like classic fonts and some people like modern fonts and some people like um, all kinds of stuff. So you want to try to mix your stuff up so that you can appeal to different people and show Pinterest that you have different pictures, right? And I do, I don't like to have, like I like it to pop off. Now, I have a problem with this because this phone is so black and this is kind of gray, I am gonna make this black and then you'll see it pops off so much better, right? Um, I don't know if I was gonna if I was gonna split test this, I would split test this with a pink um, background pick there. And the way you would do that is to just copy all this stuff, copy, come down here to one we haven't done. Delete all this stuff. Which picture is it? The black one. We'll go to our uploads.
so it's this one okay and we want to try to make it a teeny bit different right because we want i don't know that just changing out that box color to pink would make a huge difference but see now i have it way further over here um so that may make Pinterest think let's go up and look and see where it is. Yeah, see it's big and in the middle. This one is more at the top and on the right. And then we're gonna get this box and we're gonna make it pink. We'll see what people think. And I still wanna lighten this picture. So we're gonna go to adjust. We're gonna do our brightness up. We're gonna do our saturation up. We could do a big, I can't say it, big, big, big net around the edge with a little color. All right, so we got that one done. So now we have six to do. That's exciting. Okay, let's go back to where we were, right there. Do we have a box around? We do have a box around that. Well, you know what we could do? We could do this totally different and do this box this way and do these fonts this way and see which one they like the best because we have the black in there that we can kind of balance that with um this is not okay i'm so glad this happened i don't like this pin right like i don't like it at all if i had my own way i would never make this pin my pins look very different to this but i don't care what i want is viewers to my blog and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try six different pins and then we're going to schedule them out in Pinterest and that's where we're going to stop. That is what we're going to do today because that's all you want to do. You want to get them out in the, in the Pinterest universe and see which ones the people like, right? Okay, I don't like that pin. All right, we have one more to fix. Okay, I like this one. I was fine with that one. This is exactly that same one, right? But just with shoes. I'm fine with it. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. And then I need to make something for this to stand out. And I'd also like to get my um, website behind there. I don't always have my website or my shop behind there. If it won't fit, I don't do it. Um, but if it fits, I like to try to get it in there. And then... Um, Let's see, can we do something fun? Let's try a circle. Okay, so we want to keep the phone where it is. But can we do this? What happens if we do this? I don't want, oh, we'll send this to the back. Okay, Woo, we may be able to do it. Can we, can we cheat this a little bit? We probably want it to go over here. Nope, over there. Okay, can we make our circle shorter? Oh, let's try. Oh, that worked out good. And then now we have a fat circle. We're not taking up as much space. Okay. And what color? Let's always try our white because I like white circles. I'm funny that way. And what if we make our words, our words in the front? Nope, they're in the front already. Let's try if we go with a red shirt. How to take product photos. Do we feel like that's, uh, well, I don't feel like that's jumping off the page much. How about gray? Um, how about gray? Yellow? Well, if we were going to do yellow, then we would have to make our circle black. Let's see what happens if we... I kind of... Sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, let's see. What do we think? I really hate that. Like, in a way, not that I hate it, that I think it's a good hate. It's just a hate. Um, okay, we're going to make white letters. We're going to make a blue circle and see if we like that. Oh, I like that better. I like that a lot better. Okay, do we have any wiggle room on this picture to go up? Ooh, wait, 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 do we have wiggle room? And did that bring in some blue over here? 
See, now that just made it perfect. Okay, so that's nicely balanced. I love what it's doing. You can see she's taking a cell phone picture of something. Yay. All right. Now, don't forget, we have like a billion of these down here, but I just want to download some of them, right? So I'm going to say download, and I'm going to select pages. Oh, I'm in the way. Sorry. Select pages. So I want, we went down to this one because we made the extra one, right? Pages, 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 pages. Pages, pages, done, download. Okay, now it's downloading PNGs, which are giant files. Um, it helps with your uh, quality. Most times I download JPEGs. I really would have switched it over to a JPEG because I still have to save those on my hard drive or in my Google Drive or whatever, but accidentally downloading the... Um, the PNGs every now and then isn't going to hurt anything. Okay, so good. Now these are in my delete me file because that's where everything downloads. And here is the problem. They're labeled one, two, three, four, five, six. Now Pinterest has said that they look at the file name of your file. So we're going to name these take Product photography iPhone. We don't need all the words, but we want them to get the idea, right? And I'm just going to copy from there up, copy, and that's going to be one. It's going to be two. Okay, so we got all those done. Yay, us. All right, now we're going to go to Pinterest. I'm saving that for a different video. I'm going to show you all kinds of stuff. But today we're just doing the pinning and the um, how to post it, how to make pins, how to post pins. Okay, so we're going to come here to the plus sign, front row. First, we're going to log into the right account. Then we're going to come here to the plus side. Okay, and we need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pinterest has said that they don't care if your titles and your descriptions are the same. So this is super easy. We're going to add our destination link. Because for me, that's the most important thing. Destination link, destination link. Destination link. Okay, now we're going to grab our title. Oh, darn it. Title. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then we have to get a description. Now I have um, SEO'd my descriptions already for my blog. So if you haven't SEO'd um, whatever you're copying from, I would do a, make sure there's a little bit of um, keywords in there, like product photography, Etsy, um, e-commerce, things like that. But I do that. Um, okay. All right. Got it. And then we're going to go one. Well, actually, I like to pick the one I like the best. So which one do I like the best? I liked one the best, so we'll do one the best. Now we'll do two. Now we'll do three. Now we'll do four. Now we'll do five. And lastly, we'll do six. Okay. So now we want to schedule these out to go. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to send this one out right now. 
but I want to make a note about it. So I have these little sticky notes and I am going to say to 11, 2020, um, to 11, 2020 posted to MA board. Scheduled to four boards and four tribes. Okay, because I picked the one that I like the best, I'm betting on this girl. I'm saying that this girl is going to do good. I'm going to do my normal system that I always did before with um, pins. So for me, that is to save it to my marketing artfully board which is my very best board um it could be my it could be self-fulfilling my marketing art flea could be my very best board because i publish all my stuff there um pinterest has said that you may want to i may want to publish it to a product photography board first so that we know that that goes together um we'll do that later and i'll show you that but um but for me, I have found that I get the best results from publishing to my marketing artfully board. So because this is real life, I'm doing this for my blog, I'm going to put it where I want it. And I'm going to say publish immediately. So we're going to say publish. Okay. And I do want to see it. So this is only for my first one, right? Uh-oh. Our cool note is over here. We got to get this off of here. Sweet. Okay. And I need to put my note on this pin. There we go. And that, that note thing is our stickies. It's a Google Chrome plugin. And the reason I like doing that is so that I can keep track of them. I don't have to, uh, you could use a spreadsheet. If you're a spreadsheet girl, you could write down which board you put it to. You could write down which tribes you save it to. I just try to do a lot of stuff um, and I'm not trying to be perfect at it. I'm just trying to get it out there. Now I'm using Tailwind. If you didn't want to use Tailwind, you don't have to use Tailwind. You could just use a spreadsheet and then say, I'm going to schedule this to a pit. I'm going to schedule this to different boards later in the week, right? Or later in the month. Okay, here we go. So, I have a product photography board. Now we're only going to schedule it to five boards maximum. So I'm going to say product photography board. I'm going to say Etsy, all my Etsy boards. Um, so it's not packaging, business, starting an Etsy business for vintage Etsy sellers. It's not SEO. And this is a good one. This is um, a group board I belong to. So I like doing it to a group board. I'm going to say use interval. And then I'm going to say to go out every eight days. And the last day is 322. Remember that. I need that. Okay. And we're going to say set interval. And then I'm going to add it to tribes because I do this to tribes too. I'm going to put it on four tribes. Tribes are things um, in Tailwind. You don't have to do it, but I'm going to show you what I do. In Tailwind where you post your stuff and then other people share it and you share other people's stuff. It's a great way to find stuff to post. Um, and I've got, like I showed you at the beginning, my tribe's numbers are going up. It helps my blog to get uh, exposure. It could help your store to get exposure. Um, and I'm posting this to my best um, boards the ones that I know are good boards for Etsy. Um, as I go, like I won't keep pinning our, my other board, my other ones, if they do well, to the same boards, um, to the same tribes. Uh, but that's for a later video. All right, and then I'm gonna say schedule now. And then I'm all done. And was it the 26th? It was 320 something. I know you're yelling. I have a uh, number dementia. Last date, 3.22, not dementia. Um, oh, what's the thing where you can't remember them? Okay, so the reason why I put the last date is if this one takes off, 
I will eventually add it to my Tailwinds looping. And so it can go out. And I want to know what the last date I scheduled it was. Okay, but now we have to go back and we have to schedule these. Okay, so we're going to say publish at a later date. I always go to the very last one. My pins do well in the evening. And this one will do product photography board, right? Product photography board. And we're saying the 24th. And then this one will say the 21st. We have lots to do, right? We made six. We'll say the 22nd, and we'll do this one in the afternoon. And we'll do this one to, I don't like that pin, so we'll do this one to Etsy Marketing. like this pin so I'll put it on my marketing artfully it's snazzy and we want to say publish at a later date and so we did 21st so let's do the 18th let's give this one a good shot I know I'm showing pin favoritism but it's okay I can do that publish at a later date we did the 18th let's do the 16th Let's do afternoon. Let's do product photography. And with the original board that you put it on will show up on the pin. So we don't have to do anything exciting. And we can't do stickies on these right now because they haven't published yet. Okay, so that one is the 16th. Is this our last one? Oh, thank the sweet baby Jesus. Uh, we pinned today. Let's do the 13th. 13th. Oh, it's such an ugly pin. We'll do this to Etsy. Okay. And we'll say publish later. Okay. So now that's going to go out over the next two weeks. Now, the reason why I am not worried that, that Pinterest will think that I'm spamming it is they have said that they don't care if you post multiple pins to different things what they can sit to different boards what they consider different is the pictures that you're using um i'm also not pinning them all on the same day i'm spreading them out over that time now you can do up to i know you're probably thinking this how many pins can i schedule you can schedule up to 30 pins and then if you want to see them you go to pins and they're up here so i have 18 pins scheduled to go out right now but you'll see there's all my little iPhone photography. This how to set up email giveaways is doing very well. Um, I'm excited. I, I had it named something else. And you notice when I made those pins. So let's talk about that a wee bit while we're talking about making pins. And then we'll be done. Sorry to take up so much time. Um, some of them say how to do product photography. Some of them say take amazing product pictures with your phones. Some of them say... Um, how to take product pictures. I don't have to have it say the thing that's on my blog title. I can have it say anything. So I did a whole bunch of different word choices. I can also test that too. So hopefully this helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.